Alright, so we're going to start with Willem since I accidentally cut out the audio for Willem on the last video. So we'll start with her first. Um, Willem is from Los Angeles and is an actor. Um, he claims to be a female hooker in most of the, the shows that he ends up doing. He was on Sex and the City um, for, I think, one episode is all that he was actually on on that show for. Um, sings with a band. Also says that she's going to be the bitch of the show. Kind of reminds me, in a way, of Tatiana. Um, so I don't know if that's going to help Willem win the game, but it probably will, will get her pretty far. She'll play off the, you know, the looks and the, probably the popularity to see how far she can go in the competition. The last video that I did, Willem had 12 minutes of the entire video, and I've got to start adding in other queens, so I'm going to have to cut it short for Willem and go on to the next queen. Alright, the next queen that we're going to discuss is Jiggly Caliente from New York. Um, she is one of the big girls on the season. It seems like every season we get at least two big girls, and they generally don't get very far in the competition. They may get to like sixth place or so, but it's about as far as they're going to go. They tend to get voted off for one reason or another. Usually it's personality clashes, but, you know, they take it personally and probably think it's their size that's getting them kicked off. When it, that may, you know, be a personal prejudice that ends up getting them kicked off, but if it is, it's the judges and not the fans, because I know, like, Stacey Lane Matthews was one of my favorites last year. I would have liked to have seen her win, but, um, Jiggly seem very hesitant in her cast bio. The way she started out, she's like, I am from New York and dot 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 I am the next drag superstar. That was the enthusiasm that she showed for her cast bio. Not very convincing at all. At one point, she answered another question. Now, all the the casting questions are, they're pretty much the same whatever reality show that you're applying to. Um, I have experience with this because I applied to be on Big Brother, and every year, if you do it repeatedly every year, you try to come up with creative answers, you know, for your, your interview. You don't want to have these bland answers that everybody else has. But here's Jiggly's answer to, I wanted to be on RuPaul's Drag Race because I know dot 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 I dot 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 could be America's next drag superstar. It was a repeat of the beginning of the, the cast interview, the cast bio, for the teaser. And then she goes, I'm known for this style of drag, but if you don't know me for that style of drag, you may also know me because I do Beyonce a lot. It's just not very convincing. The end of the cast of she goes, I'm a pretty laid back chick, which usually translates to, I'm lazy. But, you know, drag queens normally don't get very far when they don't have that, that enthusiasm for the competition. So I would expect her to go probably not the first week, um, definitely the second or third week, I don't see her getting very far, unless she, she's more enthusiastic once she gets in the competition, and she gets pumped up, and she's energized, and she's there. I know a lot of people have, you know, stage fright when they're doing an interview. I mean, you go in for a job interview, and you're going to be very, very, very nervous. So maybe that's, that was her issue here. We'll see, we'll see. Speaking of lazy, the next drag queen that we have up is The Princess. The Princess. You're, you're probably hearing my cat here. Um, I would think 
you could come up with a better name for your drag persona than the princess. Now, with the next contestant, we're going to discuss a little bit about how to come up with the drag name. But, um, the princess is just boring. It's bland. It's vague. Now, I know that she tried to explain how she came up with the name and what the name means to her. And she tries to frame it that it's her personality. That RuPaul's Drag Race has never seen a drag queen quite like her because she's going to be the princess of the show. Now, if you mean princess in, as in high maintenance... There have been plenty of high-maintenance drag queens over the years of RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, do you mean the princess as in someone who's rich feels that they're entitled to something? No. I'm, I'm pretty sure there have been plenty of drag queens through the years that would match that personality. Princess. It's just a vague personality trait. Now, I'm, one of the ways they they say that you can pick a unique drag name is to have something about yourself, about your personality, that your name, you know, embraces. Jiggly Caliente. She's big. She's jiggly. So it works. The princess. Is she going to wear a tiara all the time? She probably should wear something on her head because the bald look just doesn't work for me. That's very Susan Powderish. Um, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I just did not like her on first impression. It just, it wasn't bold. Kind of seems like she's going to be an androgynous drag queen throughout the year. Kind of like Raja was. Raja was very androgynous throughout. Um, that's why I was not a huge fan of Raja throughout most of the last season. It's just, I don't know, it's, the androgyny factor works for some people and it just doesn't work for others. Um, but the princess, the princess, the name's not original, and her answer to the question of what, what she brings to the show that they've never seen is there's never they've never seen a princess and that America is not ready for the princess she's probably right she probably should go home pretty soon first first week second week third week just should leave really quick in the competition Final queen on this episode is Fifi O'Hara. Not going to spend too much time um, with this contestant because, like the others in this episode, there really isn't any distinguishing traits that, on first impression, just stand out and say, you know, this person is going to be one of my favorites. Um, I think Fifi O'Hara does have a look, a personality, you know. Looking at some of her pictures off of Facebook and some performances, I think she's got what it takes to go quite far, as long as she doesn't screw up, you know, a number of challenges and ends up in the bottom two and having a lip sync for her life. But she gave very pageant-worthy answers in her cast bio. She claims to be able to be able to do everything. She can sing. She can dance, you know, she can sew, you know, she's she's got it all. She's your perfect drag queen. Of course, that's what a lot of them say, so it wasn't really that unique of an answer. She does say, however, unlike some of the other contestants, drag queen is not her full-time job. She works in Chicago um, as an op optician, optician, 
can't, whatever the word is for, basically she works with glasses and contacts, which is fitting that we're finishing with her because my contacts are killing me and I've really got to go get them out. Hi, kitty. Oh, there's Sylvia. She made an appearance. Uh, but yeah, I've got to get my contacts out because they're burning and itching and scratching, but what I wanted to talk about Fifi was her name. Obviously, Fifi O'Hara. Fifi is a name of a dog. And they, one of the old adages on how to pick a good drag, drag queen name was, you take the name of your first pet will be your first name. And you add it to the street that you grew up on. That will be your surname, your last name. So are we to, you know, they didn't ask this in the cast bio, and I didn't really do much research to find out how she came up with the name. But Fifi O'Hara, I'm taking that Fifi was her dog when she was a kid, and maybe she lived on O'Hara Street, where she grew up at. Fifi O'Hara, there you go, you got your drag name. Again, unoriginal. It just, it wasn't unique, it wasn't clever. Now, if I had to pick my drag name using that formula that Fifi used, then I guess my name would be Baby First. Because my first pet was a cat named Baby, and I grew up on First Street. So, Baby First. It's not that bad of a drag name, but I don't think so anyway. Um, what would your drag name be? comment below and let me know what you think about the contestants and while you're ha while you're at it just have a little bit of fun and come up with a drag name what was your first pet and the street that you grew up on